Hello there, Terry. A very good morning to you. Hello, Anne. Good morning to you. Well, you're live on GB News with Stephen and Anne. It's lovely to see you. How worried well, are you about the cost of living? How does it affect you? How does it affect me? Well, I had a message from my Octopus Energy um, in the week. My uh, gas and electric bill has more than doubled monthly. You know, it's uh, frightening. But I mainly worry about my my granddaughter, my younger family. Um, I've got a pension and I'm reasonably OK. You know, reasonably. If it goes on too much, who knows? Um, but the younger people, the... Um, what, how much it's costing them, they've got a mortgage, the mortgages, the interest rate's gone up, the mortgages are going to go up. Uh, I feel sorry for them and frightened for them. I mean, Terry, the politicians all say, you know, and we've, we've heard it over the last few weeks, you know, more needs to be done. Labour says the government needs to pull its finger out and do more. Um, what would you like to see? What do you think could be done to help people? Well, if you're relying on Boris... You know, the other day we see Boris when uh, they was talking about the young, the old lady who got on a bus to keep warm, and all he had to say about it was, well, I'll put them buses in place because she's got a free bus pass. You know, you can't rely on these people. They're absolutely, totally out of touch with reality, whatever, whatever they say. When you listen to Boris, oh, and all his mates, when they come along, they go, oh, he's lovely and he's going to do this. and no, no, no. They're totally out of touch. Did you vote in the local yeah. elections? As it happens, for the first time in my life, I never. But, and I really, like most people, all of my friends, I won't say all of them, but a lot of my friends, they didn't vote. It's a pointless voting. You know, if you've had anything to do with the councils, um, if you complain about anything, nothing happens. Nobody's at work. But they want us to carry on paying their wages and their pensions. Uh, all the, everything will go up, um, and and again, everybody says it. The potholes in the green, nothing gets fixed, and, and then they expect us to vote for them. No, no, no. I'm sick of it, and I've never, ever, ever not voted in my life since I was old enough to vote. But today, I, I couldn't even be bothered to go down and spoil me paper. You see, that's interesting, because, I mean, a lot of people complain, I totally get it, that, they, you know, they don't feel like they're being listened to, their views aren't being listened to. But if it gets so bad that you just say, oh, what's the point? That, that, yeah. That's really well, concerning. I mean, presumably, you, 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 would, you would make the effort when it comes to the next general election, would you? Because it's, well, I, I guess, a, a more important vote. Let, let's be honest now. Boris, never again, not for me. I, would, I love Boris when he first come in. Um... Who are you going to vote for? Keir Starmer? Come on. Yeah, it's... Who we got to vote for? None of them do listen to anybody. None of them do anything for us. They're all good and they say they're going to do this and they're going to do that. Nothing happens. And it's not just me. I would say 99.9% .9 of my friends all say the same thing. We're sick of it. And there's nothing we can do about it. It's the same as this cost of living. All where did that where did it come from? All of a sudden, everything's doubled. Everything, petrol. You have you been out buying any petrol lately? It's ridiculous. Astronomic. Where did it come from? It's astronomical. No, I, I, I filled up my tank at the weekend. Absolutely astronomical. <laughs> now look, you, you've been listening to you've been listening and watching us this morning. And uh, what gets your blood boiling? at the moment, and would you ever consider, and have you ever considered, moving away from Britain, choosing somewhere else to live? Uh, not really, no. Uh, years ago, um, I was going to immigrate to South Africa, and I'm going back now 40 years. Uh, but I, I, I hurt me back, and I said to, me, to the family, look, I can't go to a new country and not be out of work. Um, so we never went. That, and that's the reason we are not in South Africa now, I would imagine. But that's where we was going. And, and what was your career? What, what were you, Terry? I was a security engineer. We, done, we do alarm systems, 
uh, closed circuit television and access control. That's what right. I've done all my life since I was 14. I left school when I was 14, started in the alarm uh, industry then, been in it all my life till I retired. And I enjoyed it. It was good stuff. I wonder, I mean, now I'm, I'm, I'm guessing you're retired now, Terry. Um, I is, am. <laughs> I mean, is, is life good? Is life fulfilling? Yeah, I, I enjoy... I've got a couple of hobbies. I go cycle riding with my friends. We do quite a bit of that. You know, I, I like gardening. I, yes, I, I'm quite happy with my life at the moment, but it's very worrying. It's very worrying. And uh, when you, uh, if something makes my blood boil when I have to sit and listen to these politicians on your program, <laughs> I'm thinking to myself, God, dear, if I wasn't, I'd like to be sitting next to them and I'd have something to say to them. Well, well, you need to. That's why we love your views. We feel like that. I don't, I don't suppose you'd like it much, but uh, yeah. Oh, Terry, it's love lovely to, to sit talk next to you. A couple of them and uh, give them a few home truths. Uh, well, it wouldn't be a bad thing. No, it wouldn't. Terry, no, it's great to talk to you. Thanks. It really is. Thanks for watching us no, thank and you. thanks for joining uh, in this thank morning. Thank you, Anne. And okay, being with the thanks, yourself. Stephen. Pleasure. Keep well. Pleasure. Thank you. Lovely. I love that. It's what it's all about. Welcome to the GB News YouTube channel. You can watch us live 24 hours a day, catch up on your favourite shows and join in the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and you'll never miss any of our exclusive content.